Many of us use images in our daily lives to document and share important, funny, or beautiful experiences, or to see and understand places, people, and objects we can't be with in person. Scholars are no exception. They use images to do research, finding and analyzing visual evidence. In this video, we'll look at a few examples of how to use images in research. We'll use ArtStore, a database of images available through the Penn Libraries. To get to ArtStore, head to the Penn Libraries homepage, click on the Images tab, and then click on the link to ArtStore. Sometimes, researchers use images to better understand a person, place, object, or its context. For example, you might read about 20th century Scandinavian design, but not be able to imagine it. By searching an art store, you can find pictures of this form of design. This photograph of a chair from an exhibit on Scandinavian design might transform how you understand the subject. You can't sit in the chair, feel the texture of the fabric, or pick up the ottoman to compare its weight to the weight of the chair. However, you still have access to evidence about the chair. A design scholar might be intrigued by the color of the fabric, the angles of the arms, or the button upholstery work. Or a researcher studying cultural memory and living space might use this to dive into the sensory aspects of retro furnishings in a contemporary context, and why nostalgia has a certain appeal. Using objects as the foundation of a research question is at the heart of material culture studies, the analysis of society, past or present, through its artifacts. This piece of furniture is one such artifact of a culture and could lead to more questions about life in a given time period. Images are central to research in material culture, including fields heavily associated with textual work. Take manuscript studies. Here, we've searched for images related to Dante's Divine Comedy. You can see pages from different editions, 1472, 1820, 1847. Some of them, like this result, have illuminations and annotated pages. These images can help us understand how a text was interpreted historically or how the market for the aesthetics of texts has changed over time. Images can also help us to recreate the past. For practitioners in set and costume design, photographs and paintings have long helped designers lend authenticity to the stage and screen. The play Riders to the Sea takes place in an Irish rural seaside town in 1904. By restricting our search to Ireland and browsing around the right time period using the timeline tool, we could find a photograph or even a painting like this one that can inspire a line of costumes for the play. Even if the image isn't at the center of a research project, it can help to support an argument or explanation. Scholarly books and papers often include images to illustrate their points. Writing a paper about the rise of industrial labor, you could illustrate your point with very different images. This image shows a muscled man, classically framed, concentrating. On the other hand, this image of a garment factory depicts many women at work, lined up almost as machine parts themselves. For some, it may evoke thoughts of the Triangle Factory Fire, a famous and tragic event in the garment industry, in which poor regulations led to the deaths of many workers. The two images tell very different stories, and could be used to reinforce concepts in different papers. While students can use images in their unpublished academic papers, the same doesn't necessarily apply for publication. Sites like ArtStore make it easy to request permissions to use an image, though it may cost some money. Look for the IAP icon underneath image thumbnails. Other sites, such as Google Images, Flickr, or Getty Images, allow searching for images that are in the public domain, freely available to use. ArtStore has a public domain portion called Shared Shelf Commons, in which partner institutions share their open images. Often, these sites will ask for attribution, making it clear where the image came from. Look for citation features in your tools. In this case, right-click on the image and select View and Export Citations. We've looked at using digital tools to find images for research, whether that research centers around the image, uses the image to create another work, like a theatrical set, or informs an argument or theme visually. Consider exploring our image resources at Penn Libraries, either through the Images tab on the Penn Libraries homepage or by asking a librarian.